What is up everybody? This is Jason with Go College TV. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of in my gym outfit right now. I know I'm not wearing any like college stuff or whatever. Uh, still working on some content for you guys. I know that I'm very slow uh, with that stuff, but I'm actually currently in a uh, master's of IT program uh, going through that semester along with like my work and everything like that. Um, I know that you're used to like, you know, college videos, but I really want to like try uh, new content for this channel. I thought one thing uh, that would be really cool is if I did a series of like questions um, about the stuff that are related to, to college and how they can be applicable to the real world. So I have my friend Colin here. Colin works in HR. Uh, and so I think that it'd be good to give like an anecdotal uh, kind of viewpoint that I have and then also like a real HR viewpoint uh, for a question that I think a lot of you probably have. And that is, does the school you go to matter to employers and Colin has extensive experience in HR uh, with this and in, in reviewing applications from probably a wide array of colleges um, based off of like many different uh, expertise and everything. So he'll be able to give you a good uh, viewpoint on that. But I can tell you from my personal experience as someone who works in IT, in cybersecurity, and as someone who's works in public health, uh, I know that in talking to my employers for my job, um, I worked in contracting a lot and now I work kind of like for a big, you know, contract and everything like that. They told me that the college does not matter. They told me that in my field, public health, cybersecurity, uh, information security, um, the degree does not matter. If you got it from Grand Canyon State University, if you got it from Ohio State University, uh, it doesn't really necessarily matter. Now the program has to be a, like accredited. It has to be, um, you know, something that's like legit. It can't be like, you know, your sister prints out a paper that says your you know your name and you did it um so that's that's kind of my viewpoint i know that like in some things like maybe say law or um uh like medical school or something like that it might be a little bit more but i'm gonna hand it off to colin and see what he has to say about it so depending on the field you're in it can matter to a point but overall typically it won't they don't particularly care what school you go to but if you're going for a specific company that's fairly prestigious like um, either a smaller company where the owner or CEO is more heavily involved with the hiring process they'll actually look at the college you went to right but if it's a much larger company ultimately they're looking at your qualifications because it's heavily competitive and a lot of positions are hard to fill as is so they can't afford to ignore uh, talent based off of something as simple as the school in which you got your degree but if you're going for like a very prestigious company or like a government contract they might care so like if you're going to uh, say EIG, which is a um, private equity firm, they might care, though, depending on the field. If you're going for, say, Google or Facebook or like these big social media companies, depending on the position and status you're going for, they might care. But overall, really what matters is your experience, your education, uh, who you know, and then making sure that you can get in touch with the right person, because a lot of uh, more prestigious companies are using headhunters, right? So a lot of the, thing, the best things you can do is making sure that you're be able to be seen so things like uh, LinkedIn is something you'll definitely want to leverage. Uh, but overall, the school you go to doesn't matter. And let's say, for instance, you're like uh, physicians, it'll matter. Attorneys, it will matter, right? Because your image matters within that field. The competency isn't everything. Now, as someone who has like actually reviewed these applications and stuff, um, just based off of your personal experience, you or somebody that you've seen, have you like, like, let's say everyone's equal, but one person says like Stanford or Harvard, right. and the other person says like, you know, maybe mid, not as well known school. Do you think that just from the human aspect that that can make a difference? So on paper, it shouldn't matter from a, um, a filter standpoint, it shouldn't matter, right? But like you said, from the human standpoint, there are things that they will factor into your employment that normally they shouldn't account for. Uh, so that's like, like if all things are created equal, they might account for where you got your education under the presumption that um, what you're, where you went is a either better school or it has a focus in what you went to school for. So if you go to a school that specifically focuses in a certain type of field, they'll prioritize that school over another like, say, that doesn't specialize. Like Virginia in. Tech for engineering or something right, like, like a that. school that specializes in a certain field. Um, but typically they're also going to look at other things before they specifically look at what college you went to. So like something as simple as your presentation, how you walk in the door. So in a lot of ways, this is very, would sound obvious, but it's not. One, do not have gra uh, grammar errors on your resume. A lot of people like writing, your ability to write uh, well will greatly influence whether or not they even entertain you, especially if it's a prestigious position. Um, how you dress, 
it's always better to overdress than underdress and less specifically requested because some people get hung up on that. Um, for some reason, some companies, if they're like a culture that's like business casual, they feel some type of way about how you dress. It's like almost like a sign that you can't take directions. But overall, it's almost always better to overdress. Don't walk in wearing a polo. Don't walk in wearing a t-shirt. Make sure that you're dressed appropriately, things like that. How you present yourself makes a huge influence. Okay, so would you, would you recommend that like if somebody's deciding between like, say a school that's like tens of thousands of dollars more for an undergraduate degree yeah do you like, think that they should spend that money for a school that like like you said like let it's not like it's not it's not next level school it's not like you're going to law school or it's like undergrad it's not like yale or harvard or anything right like but that. it's not like you're doing a specialized degree like even graduate or phd or or go into a specialized school for like dentistry pharmacy or anything like that would you would you recommend that they spend like tens of thousands more dollars to say it like go to usc like southern california over like you know I don't know, uh, Santa Barbara or something like that, or, um, you know, I personally, not that any of those schools in California are bad. Like they're all great schools, but like, you know, if they if, if some, would you say like to an 18 year old, you should go tens of thousands more dollars in debt mm -hmm. to like, just so, just so your employer can see you went to like Stanford or, or Berkeley or something like that. So it, in certain situations, yes and no. So for instance, a lot of people I think want to go to certain schools for the experience more so than the education, right? Just to say that I went there. Um, it really depends on the field. So if I'm an attorney, right? I would actually spend the money, right? Because uh, how but you But for undergrad, you wouldn't like, like no. just for like the entry level bachelor's degree? No, like degree. if you're like a yeah, bachelor's degree, liberal arts, some art degree, history, uh, education, probably not. It doesn't make that much doesn't, of a difference I don't for think, a bachelor's no, degree. Okay. No, but if you're going for like a master's that, or anything above, I think it can have a large influence because a lot of the people that are hiring are one an older age bracket. So image status matters a lot more. Cause so for instance, for the longest time before a college degree, two years of a college degree was worth, or years from a college degree was worth more than experience. But nowadays it's starting to come around where experience matters more than the actual degree in a lot of fields. One, because people are having a harder time staffing because less people are going to college. And two, they're finding that it doesn't actually really greatly influence performance. Yeah. Um, so depending on the field. So like if you're a physician, if you're an attorney, if you're going beyond a bachelor's, then it might be worth it. Especially if you have like larger ambitions. If you just want the title, like you just want to be in the field, doesn't matter. If you're trying to become like the best in the field or hold like a position of power, like things like a CEO, then 100% where you go matters, right? But at that point, most of those people are already molded into that field, right? They kind of, their family grew into it. A lot of doctors, their parents were doctors. Yeah. A lot of attorneys, their parents were attorneys. Yeah. Uh, but for undergrad, not really. I, don't, I would say overall, it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Um, if you have the experience and the degree, that's what matters most. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Colin. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, in uh, revolving around college, uh, anything like that, uh, please hit me up in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, this is Jason with Go College TV. Peace.